Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool were already in need of a centre-back but that has only increased in recent days. Virgil van Dijk's Suspension and Ibrahim Akonate's injury only show up the lack of depth Jurgen Klopp has in the middle of his defence. Joel Matip was brought in for his first appearance of the season in Saturday's dramatic 2-1 win at Newcastle. He came in for Conate, who is likely to be out until after the international break with a muscular problem. Van Dijk was then sent off in the 28th minute for denying Alexander Isaac a clear goal-scoring opportunity. He didn't like the decision but will miss next weekend's match at home to inform Aston Villa. Joe Gomez came off the bench. As did youngster Jarrell Kwanzaa, but Klopp's resources are now stretched to the maximum. The Reds have until 11pm on Friday to finalise any transfer business and Express Sport looks at three defenders they could target before then. Liverpool have been exploring opportunities of signing a left-footed centre back. Inocio fits the bill and has been linked with a move to Anfield. The 22-year-old has already racked up over 120 games for Sporting Lisbon and is a senior Portugal international. He only recently signed an extension to his contract, which saw his release clause increase from £38.6 million to £51.5 million. But Liverpool have favoured buying players with release clauses this summer. Alexis McAllister and Dominic Sobarsly both arrived after having their buyouts triggered. Liverpool were linked with Shaws earlier this summer. The Torino star is also rumoured to be a target for Arsenal in the final days of the window. Shaws only moved to Serie A last summer after a couple of years in the Ajax first team. The 23-year-old is not left-footed but is the age profile Klopp is seeking. Shaws is Dutch so could build a partnership with compatriot Van Dijk. Doing so would help his cause of earning senior honours for the Netherlands after not getting on the pitch during his only call, up to date in September 2020. Liverpool are one of a number of clubs interested in Crystal Palace star Gorhi. The Mail claimed in May that Manchester United, Arsenal and Tottenham are also keeping tabs on the defender. Gorhi has excelled at Palace since joining from Chelsea in the summer of 2021. However, he has yet to sign an extension to his initial five-year contract. Gorhi is comfortable playing as a left-sided centre-back despite being right-footed. He would bring Premier League experience having already played 76 times for Palace in the competition.